Imagine you're given a triangle that's labeled like this, and you want to find all three side lengths and all three angle measures. Depending on what three pieces of information I give you about the triangle, you will have to solve it in different ways. Imagine you're given two angles and a side. Immediately what you can do is you can solve for the third angle using the 180 degree rule. So imagine I give you B and C, you can find angle A by just subtracting B and C from 180. So you know all three angles, and you know this side length A, for example, that's your third piece of information that was given, so you can use the part of the equation that's enclosed in this rectangle and solve for B, and then you can use the part of the equation that's encircled or enclosed in this part of the rectangle and solve for side C. The same kind of procedure applies if I give you lowercase b instead of uppercase b. Now what do you do if you're given two sides and one angle? So what you should do is just plug in your three knowns into the equation and you're going to have one unknown which is going to be the side length c. Then you're going to use rearranged versions of the law of cosines to solve for angle b or angle A, just one of them. You do not have to memorize these forms, you can literally take the original form and switch around your b's and a's and c's to get the right form that you want and solve for the right angle or side length. I can show you how to derive these at the very end of the video. Now once you've solved all three of these things, you've solved this and you've solved one of the angles, you can find the last angle by just using the 180 degree rule and you are done. Last case is a case where you absolutely have to use the law of cosines and this is where you're given three sides. Start by using the law to solve for any two angles. You can solve for the last one just using the 180 degree rule since you will know two of the angles already. The last case is where you know just three angles and for this one you cannot actually solve for the side length so don't even try. Now let me show you how to rearrange the law of cosines that you're traditionally given, which is form 1, into form 2 or 3. So imagine you want to solve for angle B, which you would literally just do is switch all your B's and C's. So I'm going to switch this to a lowercase b, this to a lowercase c, lowercase c, and this is going to become uppercase b. And literally what I just wrote is form 2. You could do the same thing by switching B's, C's, or A's. It doesn't make a difference, okay? Just switch one at a time, don't switch multiple, because then it gets confusing. 